Yo, yeah, what's up legends? So I'm just doing a quick little update, like a little intro update here before the main event. Uh, so this is Thursday night and I just wanted to show uh, all you folks um, what has happened in the markets and how all the EAs are reacting to it right now. And I'll do the other video tomorrow. But, uh, so this is Promax. Um, what I did with it is I turned, put it on, I think 0 0.03 lots, and it's, bang, it's, it's actually reacted to that really, really well. But for some reason, we have an $11 loss uh, today. So I'm not sure why that was. Uh, let's actually have a quick look. Just today, we'll see what happened. I think there was quite a few trades open, and oh, here we go. Yeah, so it hit uh, 0 0.08 lots, and for some reason, for some reason it closed 11.54 and loss. So it's not too bad. Not sure what happened. Um, so this is what I wanted to talk about. Uh, so uh, FX scalpel was going quite well. Uh, you know, it was up 379 for the month, but uh, look at the drawdown that it's in right now. I just wanted to show you all that. So, 730 odd dollars down right now, and uh, yeah, it's in a bit of trouble. Um, that's that's almost 50 percent down. That was probably about 40 percent down in drawdown. So, this is another one I wanted to talk about. So, um, Euro Scalper was the one that I uh, the settings where I stopped at trading at uh, stopped at trading at was it eight eight trades or oh, ten? No, I changed it to ten, uh, but it was eight. So essentially, yeah, we are in a shitload of drawdown right now because we can't open any more trades which is okay it might have closed here but you know that's a lot of trades uh, it's a lot of trades to go before it would have hit so it probably would have had 20 maybe 30 trades would have run out of margin for sure uh, but this was down about six grand um, earlier earlier today or this morning and um, yeah GU's come back up a bit now, which is good. Uh, EU hasn't taken uh, any trades for some reason, but um, I'm sure it would have been in the same position, uh, in this bad position. So yeah, not uh, not a good situation for Euroscalper right now. I would not like to be in this right now. It's definitely. Um, Definitely gone past the like the twenty percent cutoff mark for sure. Uh, Goldnix has just been trading really well. It's up back up to two thousand dollars, and for some reason it had uh, a huge day on the twenty eighth. So I made one hundred and fifty two dollars, and I've I've got it literally on zero point zero one start. So it must have hit um, you know, quite a lot of trades for it to come back at one hundred and fifty two dollars. Um, but generally it makes it around you know, between $14 to $30 a day uh, except for except for that day so um, I think that if there was any less in that account it would have got pretty scary and FX Stabilizer is another one that's in a lot of trouble uh, due to Euro USD and GU going down and um, yeah, so it was it was down about six seven k. Uh, oh no, sorry, it was probably down about six thousand when it was down the bottom here, and it started to come back up. Um, but it's take profits. Uh, it's hit the yeah okay. So we've opened the six point four lot trade, and now take profit is right here. So I think it will close, but 
yeah, it's definitely not a good position to be in for sure for FX stabilizer. Um, the take profit's very close now, so um, pretty lucky, but uh, you know, you're down quite a lot of money here. And Alpha 2 hasn't really done much, I think it's been about $20 or up $10. Uh, Ranger and Pinpoint uh, are not trading any of this right now, which is interesting. And Leprechaun uh, is trading quite well. And last but not least, Salmon Magic Hedge. So I think I'll get rid of this one because it just. Uh, oh no, it hasn't really done too much. It's, you know, it's making a few dollars a day, but we're down 218. It did get to 270, $300. So uh, I think the risk first run for this uh, is 